So here we are, another cooking episode. So I've got a few things I'm going to get ready and prepare. I'm going to be cooking in Dutch oven, but in a different way. Let's see what I'm up to. Right, so here we go. First things first, a few carrots. Let's do that first bit. No be by now. Rough cut. Big old chunky carrot that one. As I'm cutting them, you're going straight in Dutch oven. Everything in here. And we're through all this different veg. Bring them in. It's nice, nice and chopped up, just coarsely, don't have to be old special. You all know my cooking by now. So this meal I'm cooking, it's going to feed at least two, possibly three. Depends if one of them is brave enough to try it, because it's obviously a different sort of meat to what they'd be used to. A couple of onions. You're probably thinking, well, we've all seen a casserole before. I'm going to do this in a slightly different way. So a bit unusual for home cooking. Again, just keep it chunky. It's going to cook in a few hours, this. It's going to be slow cooked. Try not to shed a few tears with these onions. Keep chopping bits. Dogs outside, otherwise you'll be having a bit of a field there right now. Go in there like that, all that. One more. Oh no. Kill that onion. There we go. That last bit of skin off. Move it out of way. That's some chunky. Not too strong these onions tonight actually. Just got a little tang on eyeballs then. Full main body of veg. No potatoes. All I'm going to do with these, quite simply. Straight in half like that. Don't know if I'll use them all. So it is to feed three people. Keep them chunky. It's going to have at least a couple of hours, two to three hours actually. A couple of small ones. I'll just put that other left one in. And that'll do for potatoes. Just get rid of this mess, come back to you. I'll go here, put a little bit of parsley. Pull a bit off. He says a bit. Look at that. That's a Yorkshire helping. I'm just gonna just cut it finely, not too fine. Just put a couple of cuts in it, release that for the labour. That can go in there like that. So it's looking lovely in there. And what I've got here. Few garlic cloves, all I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna bother cutting these, just wanna skin them really. You'll see me skin these. How simple, I've got four little pieces, that's that, just get that rough bit off. Chug that in, I'll do it with three, come back to you. The last few pieces of garlic. Put them in there like that. Tin of chickpeas. Just saw these over there and I thought I'll use these. So I'm done. 
they've opened these up they are salted so I've got rid of the salt I've rinsed it out or as much as I can and chickpeas and do like that mixed herbs Starting. Bit of sea salt, I don't want too much at the moment from it. Seasoned meat. Some black pepper. And some ginger paste. Just like ginger, you don't have to muck about with chopping and stuff like that. That'll do. Pull it is now. These to go in a bit. I need some water in, three oxos. I'll get meat, get meat onto here. Get that seasoned into there. And I'll show you what we do from then onwards. So what we've got here, we've got this little special ingredient as well. So my missus brought this from one of her friends at work. Really, really hot chilli. I'll try and remember what it's called. I'll ask her when she comes in from work, but I think it's, it might be Caroline Reaper. That's going in, chopped up, had some nice kick. So what we've got here, got one big leg, small leg, lovely piece of back strap, a little bit of rib cage. So all I need to do, a bit of salt and pepper. This has been draining off. Loads of blood's coming out of it. Turn this over. Remember, I put a bit of salt and pepper in main pot anyway, in your oven. I'll try it as cooking process goes on. Add a bit more if I need to. That's good. Rub it around like that. See that's lovely and seasoned. I need to now. Uh, Put this in there. Happy days. Show you the next bit, which is an exciting bit. Don't forget this little baby. So let's get that off. Cut it. Uh, odd seed. If I just cut that in half. Right, let's. Be a little bit smaller. And if you do cook for a piece after cooking, it won't be too bad. He says. Get one in there. That looks some lovely kick to that. Let's cut this back strap up. Nice chunky pieces. That is one of the most amazing, fantastic pieces of meat. Rip cage. Quick mulch around with that. Get it all mixed together. Want to be able to get all this meat in. The bit of cooking oil, bit of rapeseed oil on the bottom of this. I re-seasoned this cast iron uh, Dutch oven a couple of days ago, yeah, a couple of days ago now. So initially, I want this meat on top. Perfect. You see how that fits like that? Lovely jubbly. Come back to you in a minute. There we go. 
it's all in there. What I've got here, three oxo cubes, and some beef stock. So what I'll do, I'll add some water, add them in, let it cook away for a couple of hours. All right, so I did promise you something different. My log burner. Cabin. Right, there's a bit of kindling in there, so I shouldn't need that. You install your cabin, right if you've seen this before, a friend of mine made me this log burner, set it all up, it's got a fluid that goes outside, tested it a few times, worked perfect, what I've got here is a fire log, lots of pieces of wood in here, it should get raging actually, stick to where I'm at, I don't think I need all them to start with, let's take some of the bigger pieces out, simply put this in, Get it lit. Perfect. So I've got here bottom, one each side, a couple of air vents. So I'll just monitor that for a minute. That fire log reckons it burns for 90 minutes. So if it does keep some residual heat, good, what it will do, it'll eat this top plate here, all I have to do is keep coming out, checking it, stoking it, adding a bit more wood, keep that fire going, I need this to be nice and hot for a couple of hours, get that cooking away, all I've got to do is add some water to that, get it on top once we've got some heat, and that's going good. Right, I'll monitor that for a minute, come back to you. So here's log burner itself. Obviously sat on two stainless, well I've got sat on a stainless plate to catch any embers or any ash. Got back plate and I've got flu that goes out to our side. Let's get a quick look inside before it gets too warm. There you go. I don't want to let too much smoke escape. Right, I'm going to close that up. Leave it like that. Keep it sealed. Let it get nice and warm. That fire's going well. Just check flu outside. Smoke's going out. As you can see, nothing escaping in here. I've got a window open for safety while I'm in here. I'll leave it open just for ventilation. So I've got a bit of boiling water. So what I want to do, oh that smells great that, smell what flavours already. It's good. I need a utensil to be honest with you, I ain't got one in here, I should have brought one in but we don't mind do we? Get that pushed under. Let me get that down. Go as far under water as we can. Good enough. I'll go with fire. Three oxo cubes and a beef stock. Let's get this in. It's a lovely evening. I'm quiet, you can hear birds singing. Sign. Get fire going. That's already hot. Top of the stove. Red hot already. I don't want to waste any time really. Let's maximise. Right. Well, no, it's hot. I'll get on top. I'll show you that. So this is going on top of here now. Perfect. These last couple of stock cubes in onto a winner. So 
So a bit of rustic stove cooking today. Now you don't see many people doing this on YouTube. You well, you do, but they usually are in the middle of Alaska or Canada or somewhere like that. So for a Yorkshire lad at home in his man cave, what a way to cook a beautiful meal. All do right. Let's use that. Let's get out of here. Just get that. Yeah, like that. That'll do. Last thing to do. Lid on. That's the F taking lid off. I also use it. Just having a look inside there when I need to. Oh, that's hot now. Nah, that's red hot. That pipe's red hot. Burning beautifully. Well, do I'll give you one last gander in there? I'll show you as we go along. See right there? That's Dutch oven on there. So if I drop you down a little bit, look at that roaring away. Perfect. I'll close that up. A bit tricky one handed. I was promised to brought my little utensil. Fine, don't need stirring. I can wait there. Hope you can see that, yep. Oh, roaring lovely. Perfect. Leave that. Come and check it in about 15 minutes. See if you need any more wood. Like I said, probably whack a bit of charcoal in it because that'll keep residual heat and it'll keep burning and burning. Got some kindling wood as well, so that'll do the job nicely as well. All right, come back to you, show you any updates or any progress. I hope you can see that. I'll give you a close up. You can see heat in there. I've stoked fire, I've added a bit more wood once. It's cooking nice. Just turn that big piece over, put some heat on the other side. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Nearly got me. You can see steam coming off that though. Smells absolutely delicious. Now I'll give you a close up, stoke it again, come back in over half an hour, check it again. There we go, close up as promised. Load of heat coming out, I don't want to leave the lid off too long. It's getting quite late into the evening, it's about quarter to ten. Probably leave it till about half eleven and then take it off. Well, there we go, that's finished article. Fire's burnt down. I'm just going to leave that on there because there's a lot of residual heat. I'll let it just keep slowly cooking now for a couple of hours.